What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Casual Big Ten Podcast. My name is Kent Peterson. I'm the host of the show. And today is Wednesday, May 17th. Folks, do I have something in store for you today? First video guest ever on the pod, on the YouTube, is joining me live right now. He's waiting in the wings as I introduce him. Um, I, don't, I mean, this man needs no introduction. He's known all across the Midwest as one of the taller men. And uh, we used to play high school basketball together. I've known him since kindergarten. His name is Brad. I'm not going to say his last name unless he wants me to, but Brad... Welcome to the pod, man. How you doing, brother? What's up? I'm living. <laughs> I'm living. I um, I'm a little tired. You know, twelve hour days, but I can think of nothing else that I would rather be doing right now than sitting here on this podcast with you. And on this podcast, you are. Um, we will be discussing quite a few Big Ten things. I mean. I know it was but a week ago I just recorded, and as an avid listener, um, you probably heard everything I talked about last week already, but um, a lot of things have happened since that last podcast that I recorded. Wow. Like, like are you going to talk about those things now? No, we're both, we're both going to talk about them. Um, I did want to jump into one thing right off the bat, though, because I made a bit of a mistake last week. Um, not, not a big one. But um, if you remember last week, I was talking about uh, the quarterback that was transferring from Cincinnati into sure. Northwestern. Did you listen to last week's for real, though? I did not know. Okay, that's all good. Um, and I was, <laughs> I was making some comments about how odd I thought, thought it was that I can't even think of his name right now. It was Braden something. Uh, was transferring to Northwestern. And I thought it was odd because they already have from last year, they had Halinski and they had uh, Sullivan from last year. Right. And I just thought that was strange that he was transferring in when they already had two guys that got starting minutes last year. But I was wrong about that. And I want to shout this guy out real quick um, just to get this over with right at the beginning. Tommy Hook on Twitter hit me up and said that uh, Halinski actually tore his ACL last year. Do you remember that? Uh, I do actually. Yeah. I did see that on Twitter. I did see that. I just didn't listen to the episode. Oh, damn, man. That would have been some good information for me to have going into the pod last week. (laughs) (laughs) That would have been helpful for that particular section for sure. So apparently he's sitting out. So I guess it's down to, uh, the new guy from Cincinnati and Sullivan at this point, which I still like Sullivan, by the way, he played pretty good last year. They didn't win a game, did they? But he played okay. (laughs) Are we talking quarterback comp for the Wildcats? Dude, well, that's what I was thinking last year, or last year, last week, was like, I thought there was going to be three guys competing for the job, because I didn't even, at that point, I didn't even know Helinski was hurt, and I was like, this dude's about to come steal Helinski and Sullivan's job? But I guess, uh, you know, I was wrong about that. So I wanted to apologize for that because I didn't know that. But And also shout out Tommy Hook um, for hooking me up with that information. Say that again? Halinski's not going to be back for the start of the year? Uh, apparently he's out for the year. I think he's sitting out the whole year. Wow. Yeah, that's what I said when I read that uh, direct message. Um, but that's just the – that was just – barely even news in the Northwestern football world because I have some way bigger news for you, Brad. I don't know if you heard about this yet on Twitter. Um, Former Michigan wide receiver, A.J. Henning, is Mm -hmm. leaving Michigan and coming to the greater Chicago area to play for Northwestern. How do you feel about that? The Cats? I, uh, did he play last year? I don't think so. Okay. I can't think of who that is. I I hope it's a good move for him personally. Hopefully it helps Northwestern too. Would you leave Michigan I, for Northwestern? Um, For sure, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Back-to-back Big Ten champs. You're just going to say, you know what, I'm going to go 
I'm going to go play for the Wildcats, who won two games last year. Actually, I think they won one. And I'm going to play for a quarterback who I'm not sure who it's going to be at this point. Yes. That's a wild move. It sounds like an opportunity. An opportunity to be great. Mm. Who was the who are we talked about? AJ Henning. Henning. He was actually really good two years ago. He was he's a little speedster. He what uh, number? uh I think he wore number three. Mm. He, well, I'm sure sorry, what's that? I said I'm sure there's a good reason that he's going. Well, he's from Chicago, I think, is part of the reason. There's one. Okay. <laughs> I can't it. I can't think of another decent reason whatsoever that he would be going there besides that. It can't be the win total last year. It simply can't be. Uh, yeah, I don't think that would be a factor. Um, speaking of guys leaving uh, the state of Michigan, um, yeah. someone that you might care a little bit more about, I actually just found this out this evening, and I think it just went final today, that um, Keon Coleman is gone from Michigan State officially now. He has decided from uh, – he was deciding between Ole Miss and uh, Florida State, and it sounds like he is for sure going to Florida State now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Dude, things are changing rapidly. We had another Keon that had committed to us that was a wide receiver. Who's us? At, uh, Michigan State. Oh, Am I okay. not supposed to? I can't be a fan. Nah, you can no. be whatever you want. Be you. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm a Michigan State fan. Okay. All Big Ten listeners out there, all six of you. Um, so we had another Keon that was coming in. He was a transfer. He committed. And then two weeks later, he just posted that he's going to Arkansas now. Hmm. Never even played for us. I, I think this one's a, a little a little bit more high profile, though. And I think that he's for sure going to go to Florida State. Although I do have to say, too, I, I meant to point this out last week. Uh, he posted some videos of him wearing um, the old Miss uniforms and they look sick, dude. I would have went there just based on the uniforms alone. They were like the ice cold, like with the white letter old Miss script, dude, he looks yeah. sick in that, man. He should have went there just, just based on the uniforms. Just based on the uniform. Maybe that's why Henning went to Northwestern. Get a little under armor action. Very possible. <laughs> Switch it up. Go from Jordan to under armor. There's no, there's no reason. There's no fucking reason why you go to Northwestern from Michigan. <laughs> he had, idiot. He must have, like, someone from Northwestern was a big fan of his, and they were like, I will give you a million dollars to come play football here next year. I mean, is he going to be the number one receiver? Yeah, he has to be. He must. Name another Northwestern receiver I- ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's disrespectful. Oh, man. No, but seriously, he's got to be the number one guy. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to move on to this next guy because this is also breaking news, like huge news. I don't know if you heard about this yet or not, but uh, Anthony Pecorella, Mm -hmm. which you can finish that sentence, where he played last year and what position it was. We'll say it together. The punter at Maryland. Oh, Maryland. <laughs> I knew it was one of those East Coast teams. The punter at Maryland, uh, Anthony Pecorella, though, he's going to Stony Brook. And the only reason I bring this up right now is because I, I genuinely wanted to know if you knew that Stony Brook had a football team or not. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Where, what is he doing there? Is he Punting? About the starting quarterback. <laughs> Good grief. I don't know. That was an odd decision, too. I didn't know that. I didn't, I Actually, I just saw that on On3, and I wasn't positive um, if he was even Maryland's starting punter last year. I don't know if they have a depth chart for punting. But, uh, again, I couldn't tell you another punter ever in the Big Ten, probably. But uh, he's leaving, though. He's gone, and he, he got the bag from Stony Brook, and he's sayonara, Maryland. <laughs> The Stony Brook bag. Oh, 
Good for him. Good for so, him. But did you know they had a team, though, for real? No. <laughs> All right, last one. This is the last football guy I wanted to talk about. Um, I bring this up because I'm being told by sources on the Internet that this guy is supposed to be really good. His name's Anthony Jones. He's coming into Indiana from Oregon. Um, he's a linebacker, so not the most important position ever for Indiana, but they desperately need help on defense. And it sounds like that this guy is, I'm guessing, coming right in to be the leader of their defense. That's what my guess is. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I don't know why he would leave Oregon. Again, just from a Jersey perspective, I don't know why he would leave Oregon. But uh, Anthony, what did I say his last name was? Jones? Jones. Anthony Jones is coming into Indiana. So uh, for Hoosier fans out there, someone to keep an eye on. Your thoughts on that, Brad? Uh, like what? Like what are you thinking about that move for him? Oh, uh, I hope it's beneficial. Same. Yeah, I hope it, I hope it, it uh, pans out for him. What Personally. would you say if you were talking to Anthony directly? What would you tell him uh, about what to expect next year in the uh, big IU helmet that he's going to be wearing in the season that he can expect to have? Again, was this? Did he play at Oregon? I think like so. He was played. I mean, I guess they don't have a ton of fans either. Um, I don't know, man. Good luck. I hope you do well. Indiana's not it's not a football school. It's just not. No. It's not. They're getting they, I felt like they were starting to like turn the corner like two or three years ago. And yeah. then they went right back downhill, it felt last year. I really want to cheer for them though. I honestly do. Like I'd like for them to be good at football. That'd be fun. Um but it's it's tough, man. It's tough to get behind them when they don't have a lot of players that you can like kind of point to and be like that's my guy for indiana right there or, mm -hmm. what's that or name them yeah like <laughs> no, no yeah totally um right. i had going? about seven other guys that are transferring none of them are important at all though i don't think so i'll probably just save that uh for the next time i'm recording alone because i don't want to go through all those guys and waste your time right now um, we're sure. talking about guys like Al Ashford and Brady Allen and things like that. You know, guys that um, most casuals wouldn't know. In fact, I didn't know them until I looked them up. So I'm going to leave the football stuff alone. We're going to call that a wrap on the football stuff. Um, for the next segment, though, I do have a little game for you, Brad. Just a little one. All right. This one's unannounced. I didn't tell you about this one. Mm -hmm. um, you there didn't was... tell me about <laughs> I told you a little bit. I told you what we were going to do to finish up today. Okay. Uh, in the last week, since the last time I recorded, there was two transfer, uh, what do I want to call this? Like entrance into the transfer portal out of the Big Ten. So there's two guys that said we're leaving the Big Ten or maybe just leaving their school um, in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. All right. Two. This is football? This is basketball now. We're switching gears. Bas okay. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, so there's two guys that have entered the transfer portal, portal from Big Ten schools, okay? There's also two guys that I have on my list right now who have no relation to the Big Ten whatsoever. So what <laughs> I'm going to do is I'm going to list their names, and you have to tell me whether this is a Big Ten transfer portal player <laughs> or if this – or if this is just a random guy from around the country. They're all college basketball players, though. All okay. right. So you ready for that? Yeah. All Easy. Right, the... <laughs> <don't> easy. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as easy as you think. Um, first guy is we're going to go with Noah Reynolds. It's a very inconspicuous name. Oh, I thought you were going to read all four, and then I was going to choose two. No, you, you have to decide right now on Noah. Uh, Noah Reynolds was not in the Big Ten last year. Ooh, that is correct. Noah Reynolds is a guard who is transferring from Wyoming to the University of Green Bay, Wisconsin. You're Solid. one for one. One for one right here. All right, the next guy we have right here is uh, Seth Towns. 
And if, if by the way, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. If you guess Big Ten, which kind of gives this one away, you have to also tell me what school he went to last year. Uh, Seth Towns was on the Maryland Terrapins. Ooh, so close. So close. He was an Ohio State Buckeye last year. Is he the dude that's like 40 years old? <laughs> I don't know. He like started at uh, <clears throat> he started at an Ivy League school and got injured and sat out a year and then went to Ohio State and sat out a year and got injured. Oh, and sorry. now he's. I was going I was going to try to bring it up. If I bring this up. Oh, I just messed up my whole feed. That's I think right, he though. was like. I think he was like a 2016 recruit. Like this is going to be his his eighth year in. Uh... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> First article that popped up when I typed in his name is Seth Towns enters portal ahead of eighth college hoop season. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's amazing. He's doing it right. Began his career in 2016 at Harvard. Um, two knee. This shouldn't be allowed. It's a like your your fifth year is like a victory. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Your <laughs> your fifth year is a victory lap. What's your eighth year? What are we calling that? That's just a a double doctorate or a single doctorate, I guess. Just getting his doctorate. Have, yes. <laughs> What if he's still working on his undergrad? <laughs> <laughs> Dude's like, I still got some electives I got to finish up. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, all right. So you got uh, you. I'll give you a half a point on that because you were right about him being from the Big Ten. All right. Next guy we have is Ian Martinez. Um, not, not Big Ten. Ooh. I hate to say it, but he actually was no. from the Big Ten. No. <laughs> he was. No, he wasn't. Yep. He was uh you're gonna hate this too. He was a Maryland Terrapin last year. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Sorry, man. I really hate to say that. All right, uh all right. so that kind of gives away the last one. I guess you're right. I should have listed them all first. Um so I'm gonna have you guess. I'm going to have you guess this guy's school because he's not in the Big Ten, but his name is Josh Farmer. And the hint is, and that was probably the best name for a Big Ten guy, by the way. Nebraska. Uh, um, I'm going to I'm gonna have you guess where he went to school. And the hint is we have traveled to this city before together. Um, Farmer. What was his first name again? Josh. That's helpful. Josh Farmer. We've traveled to the city that the school is in mm -hmm. together. Yep. Uh, Josh Farmer played for UNLV. Oh, so close, man. It was a four-letter acronym, UTSA. Oh. The Roadrunners, man. San Ann. San Ann. Mm. Yep. All right. Uh, that was all the portal stuff for this week. Again, not a lot going on. Uh, Ian Martinez and Seth Towns are both leaving the Big Ten from uh, Maryland and Ohio State, respectively. All right, we're going to finish up. Uh, this is what we've been talking about all week that we were going to do in the text messages. This is basically just for Wally at this point. Um, we're going to draft an all-time, since we're on the basketball topic, all-time Big Ten starting lineup. Um, I'll let you have the first pick. The only rules are that you have to draft a – you have to draft somebody by their position. So, in other words, you can't have, like, Cody Zeller playing point guard, Right. Sure. And the other rule is that you I should have prepared for this. Say that again. I said I should have prepared for this. I warned you like an hour ago that we were doing this. <laughs> I was driving home. All right. I apologize. Um, 
The other rule is you can't pick somebody. You can't pick two players from the same school. That's the other Ooh. rule. That is the other rule. So um, I'll let you have the first pick. I already know who you're going to pick, and I'll make it easier for you since you're unprepared. I will pick whatever position you pick right after you so that you still have the other positions open because I did prepare a little bit. I don't think you do know who I'm going to pick. I for sure know who you're picking. You don't. Go ahead. Uh, at my point guard position, I'm going to take Martin Cleaves. Oh. Yeah, see? You weren't ready. You Hold on, though. Ready. Hold on, though. That means I can still take Magic, then. If you want him. Are we battling? I thought we were just picking players. <laughs> no, no. This is like an all-time team. You're trying to beat. You're trying to beat my team right now. Oh, well, I'm winning so far. Are you sure about that, dude? I'll let you take Magic right now if you want him. Uh, no. Mateen is all time, man. Heart, Tripping. soul. He's my captain. Tripping, dude. All right, I'm taking Magic then. We'll get Michigan State out of the way. Wow. You're wow. Up, though. You're up. For my two guard, I'm going AJ Guyton. Okay. From the university. All right. So that means for my two guard, because I said I was going to follow you, mm-hmm. uh, I'm taking Jim Jackson from Ohio State. That's that. Of the year twice, by the way. I that think was my. I think he's the only one that's done that, right? No. Mateen did it. Uh, okay. Well, Zach Eadie's going to do it next year, too. So, Absolutely gross. All right. For my five, my my front court. I'm going to say my front court. These okay. guys are in four fives. Uh, my five, I'm going Jerry Lucas. Okay. I like it. From the Ohio State Buckeyes. All right, so, oh, man, I'm trying to figure out who's going to make you more upset. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Garza <laughs> from Iowa. <laughs> Luca. Why would that make me upset? I don't know. I was, it, was either, it was either him or Edie. And I know you don't like Edie, oh. so. Yeah, that would have pissed me off. I thought you All didn't right. like Garza, too, though. No, guards are the dog. Okay, my bad, dude. Uh, okay. So I'll I'll stay I'll stay front court. My power forward is going to be the king of timeouts himself, Mister Chris Webber. Doesn't it suck? Like, could you imagine being him and that's the only thing that he's known for after, like, a fine, like, college career? I mean, obviously, that moment sucked for him. Yeah. But then, like... He went on to have a pretty nice NBA career as well, so... Right. But no one knows that, though. The millions of dollars that he made, like, has no impact on his life. From the outside perspective, other than the timeout, is wild to me. But, um... I'm gonna. Ch- I'm. I feel like at this point, I'm just trying to pick people to piss you off. So I'm gonna take uh, Frank Kaminsky at number f- at the power <laughs> forward position. Dude, I thought you were trying to win. My team's about to kill you. Oh man, it's funny because I almost took a Michigan guy too, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take Frank the Tank. Oh my Your God. phone is not Frank the Tank tonight, by the way. No, it's not. All right. Uh, so. All right. Uh, well, back up to you. What do we got left? Just shooting guard or small forward still, too? Three. Just three. Just three? Yep. Uh, and I'm taking big dog, yeah. Glenn Rob. See, that was the problem. Like, I didn't take Edie for that reason because I was holding on to that spot. Oh, no. No, no, no. So, I got to take Glenn Rice now at uh, small forward. 
Okay. Ohio Michigan guy yet, so I'll take that. So that's the teams. Uh, recap your team real quick because I forgot who you had. All right, I got my team, Cleese, running the point. A.J. Guyton at the two guard. My three is Glenn Robinson. My front court is Chris Weber and Jerry Lucas. That's a solid squad, dude. It's not bad. It's not bad. I hope you guys aren't in a tight game down the stretch, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then my team once again was uh, Magic Yonson, Yim mm-hmm. Yaxson. <laughs> I got a lot of J names now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh, man, I need to stop drinking tonight. Um, I have written down Glenn Robinson, but I did not get him. I got uh, Glenn Rice, yeah. another GR. Yeah. Hey, a little mix up there. Um, Frank the Tank Kaminsky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Luca Garza, the dog, and you're quoting Brad, the dog. The dog in, him. in college, you did. I like my team, dude. I feel like your backcourt is definitely winning, but my front court is murdering you. Frank, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get some comments about your choice at Power Forward. Dude, people are going to love that choice, man. Frank the Tank. You get- hate for that i just don't like i gave you too much of an advantage to let you pick it, each position it, first like you got glenn robinson like that's almost not fair dude you got him with like your last pick you just saved it because you knew right? you would be able to do it he would have been I, he, he honestly like if you would have picked uh like after mateen cleaves when you picked him right there if i was playing for real i would have picked him that would have been my first pick but you knew yeah. that you could save him though so i did all right, man, that's a pod, dude. I think, I don't know what the, I I feel like I should do some editing on this, but I'm probably not going to. You should. You should spend a little time. I don't think I'm Make- going to at all. Um. Oh, I messed up again. I'm back. I thought I, I forgot to put the videos on the final scene, so uh, Jed's not getting his music here at the end. Um, Thanks for coming on, man, though. I appreciate it. That was fun. You're for welcome, me. man. Any any time, almost. I don't think anyone else is going to enjoy it, but you know I did. Oh, yeah. one last thing, too, if anyone's somehow still listening. I have made some major uh, headway in the, in the guest uh, arena, I would say, when it comes to the football stuff. I think I got seven guys. Um, seven guys that said they would come on the show and preview their team for football this summer, which I'm going to start doing in about two weeks. I'm really excited about this, man. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. I'll, I'll be on those episodes for sure. I mean, listening, I won't, I'm not coming back on to talk about anything. But No, I I'll understand be. that. I understand that. I, I remember how I said a couple weeks ago, I know you heard this part, but I uh, said I would like some guys and girls. Didn't care. Yeah. There, I'm not going to call this person out, but I did, I did ask one girl to come on, and I thought for sure she would do it because she does a video podcast already. Uh-huh. Um, she said no. <laughs> <laughs> What's her podcast about? I mean, it would totally give away who she was if I had talked. It, like, it's about one of the teams. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing was like, yeah, she already talks about football and basketball like major on her thing. Huh. <laughs> Must be a you thing then. I guess so. She probably saw my face and was like, nah. I will say though she did she did um recommend somebody for me though so I'm going to reach out to that guy another guy. All right. Um so that's that. Also one final thing uh Miami is beating Boston by 5 right now and I have a for me a significant amount of money on this game and I'm getting pissed off at the Celtics. I'm sorry so, for you. Need that to oh, change. Buster made an appearance. Stop. Oh, I don't know if he got on the camera there. He did. You can flash it down there if you want to. Batman's here, too. Oh, wow. Batman. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you want? All right, we should probably end this now. Yeah, we probably should. <laughs> Just showing dogs at this point. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come on, where's your dog? Where's my dog? Come here. Oh, sorry. Ooh, there you go. Wow. Abuse. I was trying to lift him up so the camera could see it. All right. Okay. All well, right, man. Um... Let's do this in a year or two. All right. Sounds good, man. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. All right.